headquarters of Motor to see the startup's Galileo device, the motion-controlled robotic head for iPhone and iOS. In this film, we'll take a first look at the Galileo device and chat with the creators about the startup's long-term goals. We are building Galileo. It's a robotic dock for iPhones and eventually Android devices that allows you to control your smartphone camera remotely. Essentially, it turns your smartphone into remote-controlled video camera. So the main in-house apps that the app that we'll be releasing is called Moto Live. That's a video conferencing app, and so that will allow any few people anywhere in the world to connect with each other to see full screen live video on their mobile devices. And with Galileo, they'll be able to control that video and look around the environment that the other person is in and give them that really immersive experience that I think people are expecting from Galileo. Some of our developers have already integrated Galileo motion control into their app. Uh, for example, Airbeam, which allows for home monitoring using one-way video. Also, time lapse, which allows you to set uh, specific pan and tilt controls uh, directly on the device. Here we have an iPhone 4S docked into Galileo and I'm using an iPad mini. Uh, both devices are running a beta version of Motor Live and to demonstrate the motion control all you have to do is swipe on the screen and Galileo responds. Galileo rotates on two axes and has 360 degree rotation and pan and tilt. So this is our first prototype. Um, it was just a really basic proof of concept. And uh, this second prototype was the first one to incorporate this hinge mechanism. And that enabled the product to get much smaller. And after many, many iterations, uh, we really refined this hinge until eventually it got to a point where um, it's almost invisible from the outside and this gave a really clean, uh, really minimal, elegant product and this was the version that we actually uh, showed in our Kickstarter video in our Kickstarter campaign last year and this version here is the one that we're about to ship out to Kickstarters in a week's time and you can see we've added a new soft touch, soft touch finish and all the internals, the electronics, the motors, the hardware, the gears, have all been completely redesigned from this, uh, this original Kickstarter version. So we're starting with the iOS platform. That made the most sense for us. So we've been working with developers for iOS to uh, build the platform for Galileo. That's gonna take care of a, a large number of people in the world. But we also want to be compatible with Android so we're working on uh, Android software and hardware that will be compatible with the different phone sizes. Uh, we're also working on um, a GoPro integrated Galileo, and that's a little trickier because at the moment GoPro doesn't have a publicly available SDK. But we're working on some clever solutions, and uh, you know we think that any camera uh, should be able to attach to Galileo. We don't want to hinder the possibilities with Galileo, and so we want to be on every major platform. So one of the reasons we started with iPhone is, um, well, it made more sense before iPhone 5 came out, but the 30-pin connector uh, was on all of the iOS devices and in the same position, centered and on the bottom. Cool. Android devices do not have that consistency, and now neither does iPhone with iPhone 5, of course. Um, so that's a bit more challenging. We think a Bluetooth version or Bluetooth um, Galileo will help solve some of those problems. But for use cases like home monitoring, it's really important that the phone can also be charged. So we're working on some solutions to uh, allow Bluetooth um, data transfer, but also be able to charge the Android devices. Overall, we've learned a lot from our day with the Motor team at their headquarters in Santa Cruz, including some really cool use cases and how they got to where they are today. The big question remains, how will Galileo iterate and expand into new platforms?